Hey there, everyone. Paradise Gamer 13 here, and I am back in front of the egg, um, which might seem like where I pretty much left off, but I actually did free up a spot in my party now, so I should be able to take this. And I think I have got it instead of. Uh, oh, wait, who did I take out? Victory Bell? Yeah, I guess so. Um, looks like this egg will hatch, will take a long time to hatch. All right, looks like that is going to be one of my new uh, traveling Pokemon for the time being. I wonder, actually, there's not really any need to use an escape rope because uh, it's not going to take me quite that far to get. Well, eh, maybe I should, probably just for convenience. Um, I'm trying to think of where would be best to go now, or I think Six Island is next. Um, Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought I only had like one or two. Oh, well, I guess I can't use that. I also, I don't remember if I've used Repel in a while. Because um, I don't think I used it. Obviously, I did. Uh, I came back here off camera. and Oh, that's right. That's why I kept Lugia. I figured I won't really need Cut in here, most likely. Um, so the question, though, is can I use the Escape Rope now? Nope. All right. Now that it's that far of a track back, I guess it's just uh, over this way. I guess I didn't need to stop surfing because I forgot I need to go back down this. Okay, so I was using Repel. Um, did I stock up? I actually, I don't think I did, but no, I guess not. I thought about it. I probably should have done it while I was running around doing other, uh, like swapping out my Pokemon and all that, but oh well. I'll get them, more of them eventually. Um, I'm trying to even remember what's next as far as the story. Uh, Six Island, I think. Um, I don't know. I was thinking that's the one where you have to use the Braille to figure out the like some sort of messages or whatever, but maybe not. Maybe that's Seven Island. Uh, I still, I still really like the uh, the aesthetic of this like little underwater area with the different Pokemon swimming around. Um, I think here, yeah, and then I'm assuming, uh, I don't really know what will hatch from the egg, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be, I always get them confused, oh, not the bag, here we go, uh, I always get them confused between Manaphy and Fion, whichever one is the one that, like, comes out of the egg, um, but I'm assuming, I think it's Fion. I'm going with that one. All right, so I'll return to Vermilion for now and then hop on the other ferry to go back to the islands. And uh, I always forget, is it, okay, there we go, F5. I guess I wouldn't have really mattered because I'll probably get uh, put back in third person after I sail to Six Island here. Too bad you can't sail directly from the undersea place to um, back to the islands. Not that I mean, I guess it's like right next to each other, so it's not a big deal. All right, so I think this is actually going to be my first time on Six Island, um, and I don't think I can surf here. Nope. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Just to emphasize that, I guess. Uh, and. Let's see. I guess I'll stop in the Pokemon Center first. When you're this far away from the city, the sky at night is fantastic. I don't think any of the NPCs here really do anything of importance. But, oh! I don't... Oh, I was going to say, I don't remember, <laughs> remember your rival being here. But I guess that uh, makes sense, because uh, I kind of almost forgot for a minute that I was not playing uh, Leaf Green and Fire Red, but uh, basically Gen 2 instead. Oh, hey! You finally made it this far. I have gotten all I can out of these islands. I have been thinking a lot about what I have learned from you and that dragon guy. I decided to spend more time getting to know my Pokemon. Of course, I am still going to become stronger than you one day, but I still need to train more. Someone told me I might be interested in Mount Moon, so I'm going to go visit there. Okay. So that's back in Pewter. I'll have to remember to go back there. I'm assuming we can probably fight him or something like that. Um, I'm trying to think. I think... 
in like gold, silver, crystal in the remakes. That you can usually find them there. Maybe. I know there's like a uh, Clefairy event um, on like Mondays or something like that. Maybe I'm just getting it confused with that. Uh, you know of Pokemon that evolve only upon trading, yes. But did you know there are still others? So Pokemon evolve only when traded while holding specific items. Yep. Uh, for 10 years I've searched the ruins. No, make that 20 years. I get this feeling that there's something hidden on this island. I think this is the, the island with the braille on it, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know what, actually? Oh, no. I'm... <laughs> I almost thought for a minute that was the Pokemart over there. I forgot this, you know, because in like the newer games, it's like combined. Um, like, do I really even need to do that? I don't know why I was uh, <laughs> going up there. Because I don't, um, well, I might not have very much PP left. I'll go ahead and do it because I, I guess I was probably in a few battles. I don't know. My Frog Arrows lost some health apparently. It's not going to hurt anything, I suppose, is the point. I like how there was six Pokeballs. I don't remember if it actually... Does it usually... Yeah, I guess so. It's just funny because, like, to think that you have the egg in a Pokeball. But... Oh, I think... Is this the Mart? Yep. Might as well pick up some Repellas while I'm here. And see if there's anything else good. Oh! I was actually just thinking I should probably... Well, I don't really need to restock on uh, them per se, but... Wait, how much money do I have? Oh! Huh. I think I have enough. Um, how many do I want to buy? I'll go ahead and, you know, I'll buy 20. Nah, I'll, I'll buy another 20 on top of this. So that way I'll have 50. Oh, wait. Does he have... I, I misread that. I thought it said machines. is isn't, like, technical machines or TMs. I got a little excited there for a moment. Do I actually need anything? I mean, I might as well stock up on other stuff since I've got so much money. Like, revives... I will take 12 of those, make it an even 30. Mm. Let's do some more full restores. Oh, that added up fast. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to uh, what I was buying, and then suddenly it was a lot of money. Um, I think I've got, like, pearls and probably nuggets or something, though, still. This person looks like she wants to talk to me. No, she doesn't say anything important. The oldest ever Elite Four member. She spurs me to do bigger things. I should buy some mail and write him a letter. I remember the old uh, like Pokemon mail from uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal. I don't remember if it was in... Was it even in Heart Golden, uh, Soul, Silver? Or did they take it out? I can't remember. Um, cause it was mainly more of like a local trading kind of thing. I was, I thought I saw a little path around here. Um, nah, I don't really need to repel at the moment. So what is, oh. See, I saw this ledge and I thought, well, maybe there's a way of getting around here. But I guess that didn't actually take me anywhere. That just kind of led me in this little loop. Um, so I will, I think this just says about, talks about Six Island. Fortune Island of Aged Wisdom. So, I will head out to the water path, I guess. You know, I didn't really think about it, but I hope I don't need to cut anything here. <laughs> I honestly don't even remember if I do or not. Leads to Ruin Valley. Yeah, that's this is definitely the Braille place. Um, what's up there? I don't remember there being like another set of houses. And I don't remember what's back this way. Because I think the implication is, yeah, straight is going to be where the ruins are, I think. Um, hmm. I'm going to fight this guy, but with who? Let's just sneak up behind him. I'm practicing in secret so no one can see me. I mean, I, I kind of saw you right there. <laughs> but whatever. Um... Let's see. Surf. I have a feeling it's going to be mostly Voltorbs and Electrode. Oh, well, right as I say that, uh, that ends up not being the case. So, 
it still always throws me off that Mr. Mime is fairy type now. For some reason, like, I just can't remember that. Um, I always think he's still just a psychic type. And it has led me to many... I, th I feel like I've mentioned this before. I'm pretty sure I've used dragon type moves on Mr. Mime, like, so many times since the fairy type was introduced. Uh, and I just never learned. Um, but I think after this battle, I may wrap this part up pretty soon and kind of save the, uh, the water path and the, uh, the ruins for the next episode. So former, I don't want the people to know about the effort I put in. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go north first or up. Um, I, I keep forgetting to point out though, extremely random, but I really like the little save menu now. It's like a little booklet. Um, I'm like extremely delayed in showing that off. I should have probably showed that off in the first, the first episode where I kind of came back and started catching up with the updates and whatnot. But regardless, um, I'm going to go ahead and I think in this part here, um, I guess I'll continue on up there in the next episode. So in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys did, I would appreciate that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to get notified of future videos and stuff. Uh, hopefully I'll be more consistent with the uploads. Uh, but regardless, it's a good way to get notified when I do upload eventually. Um, so anyways, that is going to be it for today, and thanks again for watching.